ароматы и стреют цветы, А в воздухе пташек звенят голоса, Их песни хваления летят в небеса. Но скоро умокнут и пение птичек, И щели зеленые мягкой травы. Ведь время так учиться прошло незаметно, И вот уже к школе готовимся мы. На белом свете множество дорог, Но мне тропинку указал сам Бог. Узкую тропинку выбираю я, И по ней дойду я в позже края. По тропинке трудно иногда идти, Но Христос сказал мне, помогу в пути. Только Иисусу доверяю я, Только с Ним дойду я в позже края. I know it's just an invasion at the ground floor Check my reflection, I'm feeling what I see It's a nice mystery Whatever happened to the passion I can live for What became of the friend of that you feel more? And when did I forget? I was made to love you, I was made to find you I was made just for you, made to adore you bless you. I want to tell you that Jesus loves you. Okay. You're not alone in this world. What's up, bro? Bro, why are you so joyful all the time? Why are you so happy? Look at you. You're not even like, you don't have the nicest outfits. Your car's not cool. How can you be so happy? Like, yeah. I have, like, I look really cool. I have a nice car, and I'm not as happy as you. Yeah. I mean, the car might not be nice, but I found Jesus. And I have joy inside my heart. That's why I'm happy. So you think if I have Jesus, I'm going to have joy like you? Yeah. Wow. Can you pray for me? I could pray for you.
Thanks, brother. <laughs> yeah, I got you, bro. Man, I'm so, so happy man. now. I have the yeah, job. Yeah. Yeah. You can't even get in my car if you want. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, I got you. Just a little scared, you know, like Washington State. People said there's gonna be earthquake and stuff. A lot of people are moving to Kentucky, you know that, yeah? Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm moving to Kentucky, dude. I'm hecka scared, dude. dude it's so scary. Stuff, dude. Yeah. I'm not, I don't want to be here, dude. Oh, there's Don. Hey, Don, have you heard about, like, you know, you're not scared to live in Washington? Oh, no, yeah, I heard about all this stuff happening, but I'm not scared. I trust in Jesus. Really? Yeah. I found peace in my heart. I found Jesus. I'm not too scared about anything happening, to be honest. No floods, no wow. earthquakes. I really just have a lot of trust in Jesus right now. Yeah, I don't have that. I wish I wish I did. Let's get that. You yeah. want you guys want can, can, can I pray for you guys right now about the peace? Yeah, of course. Hey, Don! Yeah, what's up, Vince? Your car broke again? Yeah, my car broke again. Bro, how, long, long? how much more can you take this, bro? To be honest, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's difficult. It's becoming really difficult with this car. But I just seem like you have so much long suffering. Like, how your car keeps breaking, this keeps happening, and you still take it, man. Yeah, yeah. You have a lot it, of long suffering in you. Yeah, it, it, it gets difficult, but you know, the Bible says that that the, one of the fruits of the Holy Spirit is long suffering, and, and I believe I have of the Holy Spirit that has lost long suffering. So I'm able to bear this burden and able to, you know, deal with this car right now. Wow, that's crazy. If that happened to me, man, I, just, I don't know if I'd be able to take it, man. I'd love to have what you have. Long yeah, suffering. man, for sure. I mean, definitely. You could. To be honest, man, I didn't have long suffering, but before I was, you know, a Christian. But when I came to Christ, I found long suffering and I became more bearable with certain problems in my life. So I want to tell you, man, if you find Jesus, if you come to Jesus, you will also have long suffering. And any problem that comes up in your life, you'll be able to handle it. Wow. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you. No thank problem, you, brother. brother Vince. God bless thank you, brother you, Vince. Yeah. I love you, brother Vince. Thank you, brother. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. This is good I'm stuff. Fine. This brother Don, he just has everything, man. It's like so many tough times, he's, so many tough things he's going through, you know? And it just seems like he's still figuring a way out, you know? He has joy, he has peace, he has even long suffering. Like, he can just keep suffering and still be happy. How does that happen? That's so... It doesn't make sense to me at all. <laughs> hey, what's up, Vince? What's up, bro? How you been? I feel pretty good, bro. You're yeah. looking good, looking fresh, man. You got nice clothes. Look at those shoes, they're so nice. What can I say, bro? I mean, I wish I could say the same thing about you, but, uh, but bro, I mean, just, bro, you've been kind of wearing this thing for, for a kind of a long time. I've seen you. Well, I did get it at thrift shop. It was really cheap. Bro, I mean, it's kind of old. It's a little outdated, you know, like the yeah. shoes, the, I don't know, bro. Something, you gotta wear something new. That's true. It's a little more modern, bro. I mean, one day, one day, you know, one day. You know, it is a nice hat you have, though. I told oh, you really? That. Yeah. Nice hat. Surprised you got that wow. part. Well, to be honest, I think if you get this hat, I think it goes perfect with your outfit. You know what? Maybe you should keep the hat. Yeah, keep the hat, Vince. If you like it, keep the hat. No problem, man. Let me bless you with my hat, man. You can keep it. You know, Don? Yeah. I just, I just feel so bad. Like, I mean, you know, I'm out here just, you know, just kind of like being a little rude to you, and you're still being so kind to me. For like, sure, so, man. And you, been so kind to give me this hat for what? I, mean, I just feel a lot of kindness, man. I want—I know I really want to be kind to you. I want to bless you, even though you're mean to me. I want to be kind to you. That's what Jesus taught us to do. You know, when when, when other people are mean to us or, or put us down, we want to bless them and help them instead, putting them down. You know, so I want to bless you with this hat because that's what Jesus taught me to do. Wow, man, you're just, you're just so different. Well, thank you for that, man. No problem, Vince. I appreciate God bless you, brother. Yeah. yeah. I just don't know what the problem is with this. Oh, man, I wish I can call Don to help me, but I know he's so busy. Let me still just, I'll give him a call. I'll give him a call, definitely. Hey, Don? Hey, what's up, Vince? Hey, what are you doing right now, man? Oh, bro, you know, just doing my homework right now. I'm really, really busy right now. Oh, man, I was wondering if you could maybe 
maybe find some time to maybe come help me look at my car? Um, you know what? Yeah, I'll be able to help you with your car. Yeah, for sure. I'll be able to help you. Wow. Okay. Well, thank you, bro. I thank you. Yeah, no problem. When do you need the help? Uh, just anytime you can. Okay, sounds good. Let me know. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, hey, what's up, Vince? Bro, you got here so fast. Yeah, no, for you sure. Were, you were so busy. I know I was, but if you asked for help, so I'm here to help you. Man, you're just so good to me. Yeah. You have so much goodness in you. Yeah, man, it's no problem, dude, you know? Man, well, look, I got this problem, man. I don't what's sure going on? Let's figure go. it out. Yeah, bro. no, actually, I, can, I already see the problem. So your carburetor yeah. is not connected to your engine. Oh, I would never figure that out. Yeah, yeah there you go. There you go, no problem, man. Perfect, man. Hey, hey God bless you, brother. Well, thank you, man. Yeah, you're yeah, so yeah, good for sure, me. no problem. God bless you. Hey, what's up, Vince? Where are you going? Where are you going, Vince? Bro, bro, bro. You got to come to this party, bro. There's a, such a party right now. Really? Our boy Mark is throwing it. Dude, it's going to be a blast. There's going to be so much, like, fun things to do, bro. Yeah. Nice music playing, you know. It's going to be just a bunch of people. What time? What time is that? It's going to be on Sunday, 10 a.m. Oh, Sunday, yeah, 10 a.m. Yeah, yeah. I can't, man. I'm so, I have to go to church. Well, church, bro, I'm not going to church, bro. I know, but I'm faithful. I, I really want to go to my church. I mean, I committed to church. You know, I, I told my members and pastors I'm going to serve the church and, and be at the church. Uh, so I have to be faithful to my word. I, I can't go to this party. I'm sorry, Vince. Bro, I just don't know how you do it. Like, you know, there's this church and party. They call me to a party. I'm rolling up. I know, but... How can I, you be so faithful to the church? I'm, a, I'm, just, I'm just a committed Christian. I know I believe in Jesus, and, and I believe Jesus calls us to be faithful, and so I want to be faithful to him. And I mean, party is one thing, but I want to go to church and worship Jesus. So I, oh, I'm not really interested in your party, man. I'm sorry, man. Man, I wish I could be like you. I really do. And man, you know what? I'm going to go to the church as well. Hey, you have to come to our church. Yeah. At 10 a.m., yeah. okay? I'll pick you up from your home. Wow. Oh, no, sounds good, bro. Forget the party, man. Let's go to church and worship God together. Okay, let's do yeah, it, Yeah, let's do it, man. Thank you, man. Yeah, no problem, brother. Yeah. Vince, God bless you. You gotta have some self-control, man. Get the self-control, man. Bro, I Jesus fall. gives you self control. Jesus gave me self-control, man. You need to find Jesus, man. Relax. Man. You gotta have a little bit of self-control. It's okay, bro. Man. You gotta just relax, you know. Let, let the peace dwell in you. You're getting a little angry. Brother, it's all good. You fall once, it's okay. Don't fall again. Okay, man, stop. I just feel so bad. Like, you fell so much harder. And, man, and, like, I'm so pissed at this, you know, even though it's not the board's fault. Like, I just don't have self-control, man. You yeah, have it's, it. It's one of the benefits of being a Christian and knowing Jesus. Jesus gives you the self-control. Man, I'd love to have that. You know, the Bible says that if, if one lacks self-control, you know, the Holy Spirit gives self-control. So, wow. so I, you know, I want to tell you, man, that if you want self-control, Jesus can give you self-control. I want it, man. Yeah. I want it. Well, brother, can you pray for me? Because yeah, I don't want to sure. get yeah, angry. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'll pray for you, brother. God, God, God bless Vince. Give him self-control in his situation, in his life, God. It might be difficult, but Lord, I pray God for peace. Yeah, well, thank you, you for the prayer. No I just problem, feel so much better. Yeah. I just feel like I have so much more self-control. Of course. Of course no just, problem, man. Yeah. God thank bless you. you, brother. Yeah. Receive God's blessing. Thank you. The key was waiting, now I'm staring at the door. I know it's over because my feet have hit the cold floor. Check my reflection, I am feeling what I see. It's no mystery. Whatever happened to a passion I can live for? What became of the flame that made me feel more? And when did I forget that I was made to love you? I was made to find you. know, Brother Don? Yeah. Man, ever since I started hanging out with you, you just showed me so much. Man, I learned so much, you know? You're so different. There's something different about you. You know, when I started seeing you having so much love, patience, peace, long-suffering, joy, and, you know, just uh, faithfulness and, and self-control, I just saw something different that this, other people don't have. And so until, until I, I was the same as the world, you know, I didn't have what you had. It was so different to me. Yeah. But when I accepted Jesus into my heart and the Holy Spirit, He, he dwells in me. And now I have these fruits of the Holy Spirit. I have also love, joy, peace, long-suffering, 
kindness, goodness, gentleness. Self-control. So faithfulness, self-control, man. Wow. Man, thank God that I have a friend like you, oh, man. No problem, man. For sure, man. I'm really happy that God was able to use me to bless you. Yeah. And to show you, you know, the right path. You know that one time we, I didn't go to that party and I went to church instead. Yeah. I got convicted, you know, and I just knew that I had to confess my sins and That's accept awesome, the Lord Jesus man. into my heart. And That's ever so since awesome. I did that, my life has been different. I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy you can finally understand how much freedom and liberty there is to live in Jesus. Yeah, this is awesome. I love being a Christian and I love Jesus. Amen. Thank you, man. No you, problem, brother. Man, no, yeah, such your home is right here. Oh, let me help them. Hey, hey. Then we're going to add three tablespoons of sugar and one and a half teaspoon of salt. Now we add three-fourths cup of milk. Now we add one cup of flour and one teaspoon of baking powder. We're going to need two tablespoons of oil. So we are using a crepe pan and we are going to use a tablespoon and we are going to add the pancakes but keep the stove on a medium heat or on a low heat so they won't burn. For some toppings after we are done making our pancakes we have some whipping cream, we have some chocolate, we have some strawberries and some blueberries. And so now we're just gonna add them like this on top and make it look pretty. Hi kids, so we're gonna update you a little bit today about the plants. So I have a special guest, my niece Gracie. She's gonna help me water the plants and show you guys what's going on. So first, we're going to water them. Good job. As you see, we already have some reddish sticking out. So that's a pretty good update. We've been getting a lot of sun for them and they're getting their water. So hopefully by next week, we can show you some more. So stay tuned. So. I'm gonna give you a second update since we didn't have a video last time. So the reddish is pretty grown. The carrots are coming out slowly. The cucumbers, not so much, a little bit. They just haven't been getting a lot of sun. They've been getting a lot of water because of our weather. But see kids that we took care of our plants. It shows how much we love them. They're growing. And that's how Jesus loves us and he watches us grow and helps us grow. And so if we show them more love, they're gonna grow more and more and they're going to be very delicious. Delicious. So let's stay tuned for next week to find out what happens. Hey kids, I hope you guys are doing very well and enjoying your time off from school during this quarantine. I know that you probably have online school and maybe you don't, you don't like it or maybe you do. Um, you know, soon this whole thing is going to pass by and you're going to again uh, once again be able to go to the stores go to the park go to the swings and so just hang in there just a little longer and all of this is going to fade away and so just remember that Jesus loves you the teachers miss you and we can't see we can't wait to see you again in church so for our lesson today we have a lesson on fruits of the spirit okay so before we start let's start with prayer <clears throat> heavenly father Thank you for everything you have given us. Thank you for salvation through whom, through Jesus Christ, through what he has done for us on the cross, Lord. Thank you for our families. Thank you for our parents. Thank you for our homes. Thank you for the food, Lord God, for the clothes, because you, feed, you clothe the grass and feed the birds, Lord God, and you also do so with us, Lord God. And for that, thank you. Thank you that we are protected, Lord God, that we are not sick, Lord God, and that, <clears throat> that you, your mercy is still upon us, Lord God. And now, Father, I pray to you for, for this lesson, Lord God, that this lesson would, would be sown on good ground for the kids and they would uh, understand it Lord 
God, and it would produce forth fruit, Lord. I pray for your protection, for your blessing upon this time, upon this uh, this uh, epidemic, Lord God, that you please be with us, be with your church, Lord God. Protect us and guard us and lead us, Lord God. Uh, I pray to you for all of these things, Father, in Jesus' name, amen. Okay, kids, let's get into the lesson. So like I said, the lesson is on the fruits of the Spirit. So um, the fruits of the Spirit, that is the Holy Spirit, right? So the Holy Spirit is... Is you know when Jesus when he was uh, he told his disciples that when he was going to leave he was going to send us the Holy Spirit. So let's read John chapter fourteen verse sixteen and where Jesus talks about the Holy Spirit. That's John chapter fourteen verse sixteen. And I will pray the Father and He will give you another Helper that He may abide with you forever, the Spirit of Truth whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him, and he dwells with you, and he will be in you. I will not leave you orphans, I will come to you. A little while longer, and the world will see me no more. But you will see me, because I live, you will live also. Okay? So, he sent the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit came down and started dwelling within us. Right? And so, uh, now how do we know that the Holy Spirit dwells in us, right? It says... A good tree produces good fruits, right? It says, you will know them by their fruits. So, for example, if there's an apple tree, how do you know uh, it's an apple tree before it produces fruit, right? So, all the trees look the same. They all have green leaves, right? They all similar heights, right? But when it starts bringing fruit, you know, whether it's green, whether it's yellow or red, you know that it is an apple tree, right? So, the same thing in our lives. As Christians, we are to have fruit. And what are the fruits? We have to have the fruits of the Spirit. And those fruits of the Spirit are written in Galatians chapter 5, verse 22. So let's open the Bible to that. Galatians chapter 5, verse 22. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. So I have written down the fruits of the Spirit. So this is a list of nine. And so I kind of want to just go through every single one of them and kind of explain it. So you watched the video before this. And so I hope you kind of understood what I was trying to do in that video. Uh, one of the people, which Vince, uh, he did not have the fruits of the Spirit. While Don, on the other hand, he had, he had the fruits of the Spirit. And you can just see how different he was, right? And so love, right? Remember in the video, love? Love wasn't just giving, um, just giving, you know, food or just giving money. Love is also when you give them food and money, uh, or money, and also when you tell them about Jesus, like like we did in the video. And so joy, you know, the fruit of the spirit, joy. It's very important because sometimes, you know, it's easy to be joyful when you have everything, right? When everything is going good for you. But in those times where things are not going for good for you, you know where maybe you're in pain, you're in, you know, someone hurt you, someone, you know, said something mean to you, and you still have that joy, that's the fruit of the Spirit that we have. And so we as Christians, we ought to have that. And so we have peace, you know, during this corona, some people can get scared, you know, people go shopping and they buy so much stuff because they're so scared. But we have Jesus in our hearts, right? We have peace. And it is that fruit of the Spirit that we have. And so we are not scared. And there's also long suffering, you know, you can go through a lot of pain. There's a lot of uh, Christians that go through a lot of different kinds of pains, right? Maybe they're sick or, you know, maybe just something doesn't work out for them. And they keep trying and trying and trying. And, you know, through all of this, they hope in the Lord. They hope in God because they know that this is not our home. Our home is going to be in heaven. So they just suffer through this, you know, because in this life we will have tribulations. But, you know, we just have to endure till the end. And so there's also kindness, right? You have to be kind to people. It's easy to be kind when someone is kind to you, right? Like people in the world, you know, oftentimes they're very kind. But when someone is rude to you and you're kind back to them, you know, that is the true, the true fruit of the Spirit. And so there is goodness, right? We are good to people. And uh, there's faithfulness, right? We have faith in God. So we're faithful, right? So God tells us to obey our parents, right? So we are faithful to our parents. We obey them, right? When our friends tell us to do some things that we are not allowed to do, you know, maybe they listen to bad music, you know, they do some other bad things. And we don't do that because we're faithful to God, right? Because the Bible tells us to listen to our parents. And that's what we do. And so we also have gentleness, right? It's important to just be very gentle with everybody, you know, because a lot of people, they have some problems, right? And so it's very important to just be very, very gentle, you know, when you talk to them and when you listen to them and to be able to, uh, you know, to help people 
to understand people better, right? And you do that by being gentle. And finally, there is self-control. Self-control is something you have when, you know, when people maybe fall or get in a crash and, you know, you can see them like, you know, being really angry and start saying bad words, right? But, but Christians, they don't do that, right? Because something happens, right? They understand that, okay, God led them, you know, maybe put them in this situation. But in everything, we have to be joyful. So it's really important to just have self-control. Um, so these are the nine fruits of the Spirit that we are to have. And so the world's going to see that we have the Spirit of God in us, right? And we are Christians when we have the Spirit of God dwelling in us. Because Jesus Christ, He said He will send us the Holy Spirit. And so because Jesus sent us the Holy Spirit, and we have the Holy Spirit, and how do we know we have Him? When we have these fruits of the Spirit, right? So we are the apple tree. And we, so we're just like any other tree, right? So we're people, we're like trees. But one tree has the fruits, right? And so we are that tree with fruits. And it's very obvious because we have these fruits. And all of these nine, these are all individual fruits that we have, right? And so as Christians, it's very important to, you know, follow this list. And, you know, we're not going to be perfect, but, you know, we strive towards perfection. We develop, you know, we start with little, little, little. And then eventually we grow, you know, to becoming um, very, very good Christians and followers of Jesus. So other people can see us and say, yeah, he follows Jesus. He loves Jesus. And so kids, we love you. We miss you. God bless you. And thank you very much. Bye-bye. Beautiful. The flower is amazing. But there's something that I wanted to add. Wait for me. Here we go. This is for all of my viewers. <laughs>